Hello, welcome back to Tarot by Lodestone Productions, where we help you discover your true north. I am a Didi, and this is a message for whenever this message reaches you, because spirit is not bound to our time and space continuum, and so the only time by which we tell time is divine time. Dig what I'm saying? Whew. So, recycle reduce reuse and don't pollute I have to remember to move my microphone when I take a sip of a beverage um, because I'm sure that hearing me Swallow the beverage on a microphone is not what the collective signed up for. So I am just going to mention this out loud to you. Um, I am aware of it and I will make a conscious effort to try and not do that. Yeah. Takes away from the message. So, recycle, reduce, reuse, and don't pollute. Mm. That was a uh, slogan in the 80s when they were trying to kind of shift the general public's view towards garbage and just how much garbage uh, we create on items that were like one use. Uh, there was styrofoam for everything. Thing is, styrofoam was and is not biodegradable. It just stays and sits in garbage forever. So. Well, it was good for things like packaging fast food. Once it got done holding the fast food, it's not like you could wash it and use it again. It's all porous and it absorbs the smell and all that stuff. You, you know the drill. You know, styrofoam is just, it's a, it's a pretty wasteful material. Um, but it was also, you know, about things like plastic bags and, you know, we got the thing about like fast fashion and it was just, it was a whole thing, a whole thing. Did I just mess up the orientation of these cards? I did not. Okay, good. So, um, the whole thing was to get the general public to be more mindful and to actively recycle things like plastic bags, paper bags. Uh, that was, that was the main thing. And now, you know, we have people who tout the zero waste lifestyle and Honestly, I think it's pretty cool. You know, reusable bags, blah, blah, blah. Like, and I get it, because we do accumulate a lot of trash. It takes adjustments. But you know, hey, we're evolving, right? So what does that have to do with today's reading? Well, I guess we're just gonna have to find out. So, let us check our spiritual voicemail and see what's what. Shall we? Do let's recycle, reduce, reuse, and don't pollute.
Okay, ready? Here we go! Oh, let's turn these puppies around. Knight of Pentacles and Page of Swords. This, uh, this fresh way of thinking is going to take a while to actually take hold. Ten of Swords with the Ace of Cups and the King of Pentacles. Well, yeah, this new line of thought is going to take a while to get used to um, because you spent a lot of time in this other energy over here um, with the ten of swords you know that it, it took a long time for those swords to be shoved in your back so the level of pain uh, your body has become used to um, your brain has already made the changes to save itself from succumbing to the pain and so that neural pathway has already been carved out and now here's some fresh some fresh some fresh new information that lets you know that this pain has concluded, right? Ace of Cups, King of Pentacles. This is a new opportunity for some actual love to come in. And the King of Pentacles represents long money. Who doesn't want new love and long money? I know I do. Up next, Ten of Cups with Temperance, the Wheel of Fortune, and the Four of Wands. Balance, blessings, stability. Recycle, reduce, reuse, and don't pollute. Recycle, reduce, reuse, and don't pollute. Uh, there's, you've learned a lot of lessons through pain. And there's a very natural phenomenon that would uh, equate pain with the lesson that you're actually supposed to take into your reward era, right? Um, even though you learned it in the lessons era and the lessons era included pain, chaos, disruption, and lack, and it triggered your survival mode uh, some of these lessons that you learn through survival mode you will still need to build upon during thrive mode but you have to it, there's going to be a you're being called you don't have to but you're being called to release the pain while hanging on to the message You're, 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 you're getting some gold stars and some cookies, um, some happy faces and some pizza parties. You feel me? Then there's the, with the 10 of cups, temperance, the wheel of fortune and the four of wands, this, yeah, balance, blessings, stability. Okay. You've successfully completed the lessons that were assigned to you 
in under difficult circumstances. And because you successfully did that, you now are getting your just rewards. Ace of Wands, Two of Swords, Justice, King of Swords, Three of Wands, King of Wands. There's a lot of masculine, I'm seeing a lot of masculine energy here. Just from all sides of the pyramid, actually. There's um, there's some decisive action. You have come to a conclusion and now you are seeing it through. this two of swords and his justice whether you want to or not you can choose to stay in this refusal to make a choice energy if you want to but if you do spirit is going to come in and choose for you and part of Part of the lesson, personally speaking, part of my lesson during my wilderness time was about making the choices before Divine had to make those choices for me. One way or another, a decision is going to be made. I mean, the King of Wands is, I mean, the King of Swords is right behind it. Like, look, it, it is decided. Yeah. And this is the authoritarian King of Swords. Okay, it's not Mr. Benevolent Man. This is Mr. Fuck Your Feelings. Because these blessings are coming in regardless with the three of wands those those ships have arrived which means that you made that choice whoop here we go you made that choice a long time ago you made that choice when you planted that seed that sprouted this tree that is the ace of wands come on spirit all right i got it so there's really no sense in waffling now with this two of swords like you 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 chose forever ago so um be be proud of the choice that you made because it, it, these are blessings coming in i mean you saw the cards that came before that these are universally beneficial and it's with the ten of cups as the overall for this row it's like this is long-term happiness that we're talking about being sharp-minded, standing on the promises of the divine and being confident in your worthiness to receive them. Page of Cups, Three of Pentacles, Ace of Pentacles. You know what? I love you so hard. Six of Cups, King of Swords, and Ace of Swords. It's a lot of mental activity in this spread today. I am here for that. Okay. So the Knight of Pentacles is clarified by the Page of Cups. There is excitement, finally excitement about the Knight of Pentacles arrival. 
Hallelujah. Jubilee. Excitement. Because now that the king, not the king, now that the Knight of Pentacles is actually close enough to where we can see them, um, we know beyond a shadow of a doubt that yes, the Knight of Pentacles really was on their way all that time ago. Even when we forgot about it. You know, the golem was still moving. You feel me? Um, the <clears throat> Ten of Swords clarified by the Three of Pentacles and the Ace of Pentacles. <sighs> They're going to be you. Your creative properties are going to be supported by financial gain. It's not just creating for the sake of creativity's sake anymore. Like there's going to be some, some ideas and some joint projects that are going to that are going to work out in your favor six of cups here with the benevolent king of swords and the ace of swords like really happy you know your family is going to be well taken care of And you're going to be looked to as not only the subject matter expert, the wise ruler, but also a kind one. You know, generous with, generous with your things. Which could also mean, you know, just general, just generous with your knowledge. You know, because we do have the ace here. So you may very well be the one that they come to when they have, you know, like an issue. You're going to be, like I said, the subject matter expert. The one they come to for the advice. Three of Swords, Two of Cups, Hierophant, Five of Pentacles, Resurrection, and Knight of Swords. Okay. So the Knight of Pentacles is now clarified by the Three of Swords. And I did not look up that story. I need to do that. So Three of Swords. Yeah, it's been nice, but I got to go. It actually hasn't been. Actually, this, this interaction has been a hot, trashy mess, but I got to go. Thanks for the lessons learned. I uh, hope to never see you again. Ever. Let me just let me let me just take these lessons and and write them down. Because I never want to go through this type of hurt at the hands of another human being if I can help it. That deep pain that sparked that lesson for you Be thankful, count it all joy. If for nothing else, but for the fact that that lesson is concluded. Nobody likes this kind of pain. This three of swords pain, nobody likes this kind of pain. That'll change a person's core personality for life. Especially when the, the issuer of the pain is just doing it for fun.
that changes that that a color opinion real quick that'll color an opinion real quick the ten of swords but the lessons that you've learned you'll be able to apply that in your new relationships and these relationships that are coming in are balanced mutual it's not someone coming in it's not a Ooh, I'm hearing it's not a trauma bond. That's really nice. So with that and the Hierophant, um, the religious authority figure, the authority figure in all things religious, actually all things spiritual. So it's like, going to going to an elder for advice there's some guidance coming or some guidance that you're going to need to navigate this five of pentacles resurrection knight of swords combination What I'm seeing from this Five of Pentacles is the, the being cast out from society, like the, the loneliness part of it. Not necessarily not having the money. I'm not getting that right now. It's the, I, I don't know how to be anyone else but myself. So why, why is that not good enough for the people around me? Why am I the weird one? Why am I the one that's left alone? Why am I the one that's singled out? Sometimes this, uh, this, this separation, the segregation is literally to protect you from other people getting their karma. It's, it's getting you out of the way so that you're not hurt in the process. Because with this resurrection coming in, that is a lot of activity. People being raised up from the dead. You've got, you know, the divine reaching down to pull them on out and you know there's going to be trumpets. Uh, it's it's just it is pandemonium. It is the rapture. The rapture is not going to be a quiet event. So with that, you know, there may be some sort of upheaval that happens as a result of you receiving word of your long-term happiness, but even with that upheaval, you're still being set aside to be able to fully enjoy this blessing that you're being given, All right? So you may have to cut out a bunch of stuff real quick and not really think about it too hard, you know? Because there's oh i'm hearing people coming out the woodwork okay yeah like if all of a sudden you are you you come into a windfall of resources like a big one like life changing right there are going to be people that you haven't communicated with in years relationships that you thought were dead and gone, right? And they find out 
that you have been blessed with a miracle. Here they come. Nope. Got to cut that out. You keep that same energy. When I was struggling and couldn't do the things and you avoided me like the plague, avoid me like the plague now. Yep. We've got the devil, six of swords, the sun, eight of wands, the moon, and the nine of wands. Okay. Yes, we can celebrate when the Knight of Pentacles is coming in, but also remember that while this life changing amount of resources comes in, that there are a lot of pitfalls that are designed to come along with this kind of blessing. You know, that whole feast and famine thing or um, you see, uh, oh, okay. Thank you, Spirit. All right. So uh, there was, I want to say it was like a mini series, right? And um, it was a show about people who had won the lottery. And what happened to them after they won the lottery. And uh, this one person said that, you know, people would think that when they win a lot of money, that their life is just going to automatically be better. It's like, but what really happens is that when you win a lot of money, your core personality just gets louder. So if you were a spendthrift before you won the lottery, you will still be a spendthrift after. If you have addiction issues before you win the lottery, those addictions just are, are exacerbated by the money because now you have the money to indulge in the addictions. Yeah. Mm. Um, if you were mean or miserly prior to winning the lottery, you're going to be even more miserly once you do. So like understanding that <clears throat> that's a really good way to illustrate the correlation between the Knight of Pentacles and the devil here in this row and to really check in with yourself and be sure that you are not behaving compulsively because you are out of the lesson part of the program and now you are in the reward part of the program. Okay. Six of swords into the sun. Um, yeah, you're starting to I'm showing like a realization that you could actually just be in the sun and be happy. That you don't have to stay in a constant state of battle. You can come out of that. And not only that, you can come out of that and spirit actually wants you to. Spirit is making a way for you to be able to come out of that and to experience actual happiness, childlike happiness, illumination. You know, just throw your hands wide and open your chest to the heavens, just cause. Abundance, warmth, It's very different from this possessive 
air that this devil card has right now. And then we've got the eight of wands, the moon and the nine of wands. So eight of wands are like messages. You know, you get something happens through word of mouth or you have a synchronicity or, you know, something along those lines, an email or something, but you're getting word that things are moving in your favor. And with the moon here, you don't even know how this is happening behind the scenes. And it's not for you to know. You have one particular path. You've got two choices available to you. Which one are you going to take and follow the corresponding path? Now, I can see where that could make one very defensive towards things that they are unsure of, right? Because again, this is, this is new. Ease, joy, and it's not a joke. It's not a drill, just ease and joy for real that this is, this is what's next. No way. I don't believe that. The nine of wands. That can't be. I got to be ready because the minute I let my hair down, the minute I relax. Yeah, you really don't have to do that right now. That's not how this goes. It's not how this is. That's not how this is playing out. Page of Pentacles with the Knight of Pentacles. Doing the dirty work. Happy doing the dirty work. Understanding that the lessons that you learn from these menial tasks are going to cover you for the rest of your days. They're going to carry you for the rest of your days. You are learning what they call transferable skills. while this blessing is coming in, right? And we've got the Two of Cups, again, with the Ten of Swords. This is connection. This is communication. You know, this is mutual love and respect. Balance even. At the end of a very difficult and painful cycle. Very difficult. Not everyone made it past this lesson. I have to make that clear. A lot of people succumb to those injuries. And they don't strive to live. The devil and the Ten of Cups. You got choices. You have choices. They're and then there are some options that are not disclosed. You can take them. They're just, it's not up front. Hmm. Ah, that's where the reuse part comes in. Um, yeah, this is like examining how to get to this 10 of cups. It may be a um, non-traditional way that it happens. Hmm. Wow. Okay. One more round. Okay. Let's do it. Ten of Pentacles. Star. 
Seven of Cups, Seven of Pentacles, Four of Swords, and Seven of Wands. I ain't mad at you. Not at all. Okay. So, Ten of Pentacles is here. Yes, you did the work. You get the rewards. You, you did the dirty work. And you had patience. Here's your sign. Two of Cups with the Ten of Swords clarified by the Star and the Seven of Pentacles. There is healing here. Hmm. Seven years worth of injury. Seven years worth of injury being healed in a snap. Well, that's for someone. That is for someone. Okay. Um, and then we've got the Seven of Pentacles, the Four of Swords, and the Seven of Wands here. All right. You're going to get your money back. For those who stole him from you, you're going to, you're actually going to, you're going to notice it and you're going to get it back. You're going to know who and you're going to get it back. You're going to reclaim your time. Yeah. This, uh, this old way of being is just, it, it's, it's, it's a wrap for that, you know, and it's time for those who had been taken advantage of to go ahead and get their just desserts, especially if they've been doing the things that they were supposed to do, that they've been in lockstep. Yeah, it's time. All right, thank you for taking the time to hang out with me today. And until we meet again, remember to be good to yourselves and to each other. And I will see you next time. Bye now.